Viewers, in this video, we will see the design of 16 is to 1 multiplexer using the 4 is to 1 multiplexers. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. We need to design the 16 is to 1 multiplexer using the 4 is to 1 multiplexer. So the multiplexer is nothing but having the 2 to the power n input and having only one output with n number of selection lines. So this is the description of the multiplexer. 2 to the power n input, one input, one output and having n number of selection line. The selection line will decide out of n inputs which one will be available at the output will be decided by the selection line. So 16 is to 1 multiplexer means it is 2 to the power 4 is to 1 multiplexer 2 to the power 4 right so n equal to here 4 so that we need 4 selection lines right so 2 to the power 4 inputs 1 output and 4 selection line that is 16 inputs 1 output and 4 selection line the 4 is to 1 mean it is 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 is to 1 that is 4 input and 1 output 2 to the power 2 mean 2 selection lines 2 selection lines are available right so here 16 input one output four selection line here we have four inputs and one output with the two selection lines now we'll see how to how to connect this four selection line with this two selection line here we need only two selection line but here four selection lines are available and also here four inputs but we have 16 inputs are available we need to connect 16 inputs but 4 is to 1 multiplexer having only 4 inputs. So, in order to connect 16 input, what we have 4 into 4. There are 4 multiplexers are needed. 4, 4 is to 1 multiplexers needed. So, that 4 into 4, we can connect 16 inputs, right? 4 into 1 multiplexer able to connect only 4 inputs, but we need to connect 16 inputs. So, 4 into 4, what we need? 4 multiplexers are needed. 4, 4 is to 1 multiplexers are needed. Right. So, that is given here. Since there are 16 inputs for the multiplexer, we require 4, 4 is to 1 multiplexer to satisfy the input needs. The 4 outputs of 4 is to 1 multiplexer are again multiplexed by 1 more 4 is to 1 multiplexer to generate the final output. Right. So, we are using 4 multiplexers to connect these 16 inputs so that we got the 4 output from 4 multiplexer, 4 output will be available, but we need only 1 output. So, that again this 4 multiplexer, the output of this 4 multiplexer are connected by another multiplexer. So, that we will get only final output. Right. So, we have totally 5 multiplexers are needed. 4 multiplexers are used to, used to do connect these 16 inputs so that we got 4 outputs from the 4 multiplexer. In order to multiplex these 4 outputs, again one more multiplexer is connected so that we will get only one output. Right. Now, we will see how to connect this 5 multiplexer. So, totally now we have 5 multiplexers are available. So, connect the selection line S1 and S0 of the 4 multiplexer in parallel. So, we have 4 selection lines out of which the LSB S0 and S1 is connected to first 4 multiplexers in parallel. All the 4 multiplexers are connected with S0 and S1 in parallel. Right. So, we have one more multiplexer is available. So, the MSB S3 and S2 is connected to multiplexer fifth, fifth multiplexer, right. First four multiplexer connected with S0 and S1, the fifth one is connected with S3 and S2, right. So, connect the output of Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3 of the four multiplexer as a data input for multiplexer 5, right. So, the first four multiplexer we have four outputs are available. That is nothing but input to the fifth multiplexer. So, that this fifth, fifth multiplexer will produce only one output, right. So, we have five multiplexers are available in that the LSB of the selection line is connected to the first four multiplexers, right. Then MSB of the selection line S3, S2 is connected to fifth multiplexer. The output from the four multiplexer is connected to the input of the fifth multiplexer so that fifth multiplexer will produce only one output. Now, we will see the logic diagram.
So, this is the 4 multiplexes. Multiplexer 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is to 1 multiplexer, 4 multiplexers are available. Right? So, the multiplexer 4 having the data D0, D1, D2, D3. 4 data are available. So, totally 16 data is available starting from D0 to D15. Out of which 4 data are connected to each multiplexer. So, the multiplexer 4 having D0, D1, D2 and D3. Multiplexer 3 having D4, D5, D6 and D7. 4 data. Multiplexer 2 having D8, D9, D10, D11. 4 data. Multiplexer 1 having D12, D13, D14 and D15. Right. So, out of 16 data, 4, 4 data are connected to the 4 multiplexer. D0 to D3 connected to 4th multiplexer. D4 to D7 connected to 3rd multiplexer. D8 to D11 connected to 2nd multiplexer. D12 to D15 connected to 1st multiplexer. So, there are 16 data. So, S1 and S0 is connected to selection line of all 4 multiplexers. S1 and S0 having two variable, four combinations are available. So, if it is 0, 0, 0, 0 means the first data, LSB data from in each multiplexer will be enabled. For example, here D0 will be available as the output. Similarly, here D4 is available at the output. Similarly, here D8 is available at the output. Similarly, here D12 will be available at the output. For the selection line, 0, 0 means the LSB data. D0, D4, D8 and D12 will be available. The second combination 0, 1. 0, 1 means next data. D0 means D1. D4 means D5 will be available. D8 means D9. D12 means D13 will be available at the output, right? The next data. Similarly, the next combination 1, 0. 1, 0 means D0, D1. Then D2 will be available at the output. Here, D6 will be available here, D10 will be available here, D14 will be available at the output. The last combination 1, 1, 1, 1 means this final data, D3 will be available at the output here, D7 is available at the output here, D11, here D15, right. So, S1 and S0 is connected parallelly for 4 combination, the corresponding data will be available. For example, 0, 0 means LSB data available. 0, 1 means next data. 1, 3 means third data. 1, 1 means the MSB data. So, that every output Y0, Y1, Y2 will be produced the out of 4, any one will be available. Out of D0 to D3, any one will be available. Now, these 4 outputs are connected to one more multiplexer, right? So, that we will get only what we need is only one output, right? So, now that is connected with the another two selection line S2 and S3. So, it is connected with I0, I1, I2, I3. So, I0 may be this output either D0, D1, D2 or D3. I1 is nothing but either any one of this output D4, D5 or D6 or D7. I2 is nothing but any one of this output D8 or D9 or D10 or D11. Similarly, I3 is nothing but any one of this output, either D12, D13, D14 or D15, right? These four outputs, out of four outputs, any one will be available here based on the selection line, right? Again, how to segregate this output by using this S3 and S0 is connected, right? So, S3 is 0, 0. S3 is 0, 0 mean what will happen? The output I0 will be available. I0 will be available at the output, right? This is the LSB data. So, that I0. What is I0 value? I0 may be D0 or D1 or D2 or D3. That is depends upon the selection line of this MUX, right? So, next combination 0, 1. 0, 1 means second data. I1 will be available at the output. The I1 may be D4 or D5 or D6 or D7, right? The second com third combination 1, 0. 1, 0 mean I2 will be available at the output. I2 is nothing but either D8 or D9, D10 or D11. The last combination 1, 1. 1, 1 mean I3 will be available at the output. I3 is nothing but either D12, D13 or D14 or D15. So, finally, we got only one output. 
starting from D0 to D15, any one output will be available as a multiplexer output of only one output, right? So, these are all decided by the selection line. First selection line S0 and S1, that will decide this data. Then S3 and S3 will decide this output. So, finally, we got only a one output. So, in this video, we discuss how to design 16 is to 1 multiplexer using 4 is to 1 multiplexers. We discuss the how to connect the selection lines, how many multiplexers are needed. There is 4 multiplexers needed to connect 16 data. In order to streamline this fault multiplexer, we need one more multiplexer. So, fifth multiplexer, that multiplexer is finally produced single output, right. The two selection lines are connected parallelly to the all four multiplexers another two selection lines connected to the fifth multiplexer so that we got single output subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening